guys, and welcome to a brand new mini series called Royal Twin Adventures. If you're new to my channel, this series follows two characters from my Royal Family series, and I will link the playlist to that in the video description below. So we're gonna be following Prince Charles and Princess Bellatrix of Windenburg. They're off on their own two separate adventures, hence the title. Charles is at university in Brightchester, and Bellatrix is in Strangerville in the military. So we'll get to follow both of their journeys, and it's gonna be very, very exciting. So if you're excited for this video, hit that like button. If you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And let's go ahead and begin. So we are first going to be starting off in Brightchester. This is where Prince Charles is and also his cousin, Lord Maxwell. So they're roommates and they live both off campus. In one of the recent Royal Family episodes, I had shown you guys that Charles had moved in. But I had shown you guys where Charles lives and we're just going to go ahead and take a look at their place. I showed you guys around already but if you have not seen that, then I will show you this. So this is their off-campus housing. They are royals. I mean, Charles is a prince of Windenburg and then Maxwell, he's a noble. And Maxwell and Charles, they're cousins, as I mentioned. Charles is getting a distinguished degree in language and literature. And then Maxwell is getting a distinguished degree in communications. Now I do have a mod that allows you to just have your homework complete already, which will just save a lot of time because I'm not about doing the tedious things in my series. I like to focus on the story. I don't want to have to focus on the Sims having to like eat and sleep and do their homework, like all that stuff. It's just not stuff that I think that you guys would want to see me do. So I would just rather focus on the story here. But in the royal family episode where I did show you guys that Charles had moved in. Oh yeah, and Charles has a haircut too. I didn't mention this before. If you've seen my series, then you know that he had different hair, but we cut it. I cut it. <laughs> I gave him a different hairstyle because I just thought that he needed like a fresh new start. He is a royal, so maybe he tried to do the haircut just so people might recognize him less because he had had his other other hairstyle for his whole life. I had like, oh my gosh, it took me forever to debate if I wanted to do this or not. Some people said they liked it. Some people said they liked the new one better. I like both honestly, but I think just to have like a fresh start, maybe like a new haircut would be ideal for that, you know? And I think he looks pretty good. He looked really cute. So yeah, that's his new look. Okay, but in the last Royal Family episode, I had shown you guys, this is Fallon. She was showing them around campus. She's also a language and literature major in the distinguished degree. So she does have the same major that Charles does, so they have the same classes. But I had them form a little study group, so it's Fallon, Lord Maxwell, and then this is Journey, so this is Journey Byer, she's also in the study group. So since they are like writing their papers and working on their presentations and stuff, I am going to have them, let me put this in inventory, I'm gonna have them all go to the study group and meet at the library so we can have them all hang out together. And then later in this episode, we will get to Bellatrix and we will get to start her Strangerville journey, which I'm very excited excited about. Okay, so we are now at the St. Laurel Library. So I just downloaded this from the gallery. It's gorgeous. And we have all of our Sims here. So we have, let's see, we have Ch uh, Maxwell. This is Maxwell, he's working on his term paper. Then we have Charles, he's working on his presentation. And then here we have Fallon. And then I think Journey is, I, she should be here somewhere. She might've gone, oh, there she is. Okay, so she's using the computer upstairs too. But yeah, so after Fallon had showed Charles and Maxwell around. I think maybe Charles thought she was really cute. I don't know who she's talking to. She's talking to someone way over there though. Oh, she's talking, okay, she's talking to this guy. This guy, he's been our butler in our Royal Family series for a really long time, but it looks like he's here. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him to go because you know, this, this isn't, I don't even know. I think some of our Royal characters might just show up here on campus. But yeah, I think after Fallon had showed them around campus, Charles just thought she was really cute. He doesn't really know her that well, so I I definitely want him to get to know her. And he found out that they have the same major and they're taking the same classes. So I think that's when they formed a little study group. And then Fallon is friends with Journey. So she asked if Journey could join them and they were like, sure. Oh, 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 Journey is also a language and literature major. Okay, cool, well that works. So it looks like Maxwell's the only one who's communications, but it's fine. I mean, he's hanging out with them too. So, I mean, this episode mostly is just for like introductions, but we will get into as much story stuff as possible. Charles with his language and literature degree, he's not entirely sure 
what he wants to do yet, but he is, I mean, like he likes writing. He's very into academics. He always has been growing up. If you have not seen my Royal Family series, Charles got over a huge breakup. It was this thing that happened with the Empress of Glimmerbrook. So he went through the breakup a while ago, but then he was just going through a really hard time for like almost a year after the breakup. So recently he has just gotten over that. He's getting through it and he's starting new, which is great. And then Maxwell here. So Maxwell had a bit of a scandal in his little royal life. He did have a girlfriend and then he was seeing Princess Aisha of Oasis Springs while he had the girlfriend and it just turned into this big scandal. So I mean, him and his ex-girlfriend Rosalind, they broke up. Him and Aisha are not seeing each other anymore. Maxwell is a little bit more of a partier. He does enjoy parties. So I don't know, maybe he'll try to like get everyone to go out sometimes. But for now, we're just gonna study. So they don't know that these two are royal and noble. I think that Charles is trying to not tell people that information because he's trying to distance himself a little bit from that just just while he's at school just so we can focus on things and he doesn't want to be treated differently or anything like that so we'll see if he can try to hide it as much as possible i do think i i don't know i think that he might try to be friends with Fallon first i think he might want to ask her to coffee or something maybe after they do their homework here they can all just go hang out somewhere maybe actually yeah let's do that so i mean maxwell he's trying to work on his paper charles he had his presentation that he had to do, but um, we're gonna just stop that and put that on hold for now. Why don't we have him go travel somewhere and then maybe Charles will try to flirt with Fallon a little bit. Why don't we go like just to University Commons? We'll just go like out on the town. Okay, so I've brought them to the Ubright Commons. I think this could be a little nice hangout spot. So it's supposed to be like an evening of poetry or something like that. But I'm going to have Charles start talking to Fallon. Maybe we can have them stargaze together so they can get a little bit of alone time. Fallon does really like the outdoors, so I think stargazing is actually something she would want to do. Okay, so they're stargazing together, and I think that, I don't know, I might hold off on the flirting a little bit until maybe the next episode, so maybe in the next episode we can start getting more flirting on. Maybe he'll ask her out on a date and we can do that in the next episode. Okay, so they're stargazing now, and they are getting to know each other a little bit better, so they've kind of become more friends now. I imagine it's been like maybe a week or or something like that since the term started. I know the term is like a week, but just imagine if it was like an actual term, then it, they've been like in a week in university. So he's known Fallon for like a week. I do think that he might want to start flirting with her. So we're going to have him do that. But yeah, we definitely want to get to know her. Maybe let's do, uh, let's compliment her appearance. Oh, you know what? We should probably ask if she's single too. Well, I don't know. Would he do that all of a sudden? Maybe they should get to know each other a little bit more. Maybe it would come up in conversation. Well, no, let's ask if she's single, that's probably important. Okay, F Prince Charles has learned that Fallon is single. Okay, cool. So I have their name as Prince Charles because that's just what I have it as in a royal family series. But like, again, Fallon doesn't know that Charles is a prince. Let's sweet talk. So I, I just wanna get like a little bit of a romantic relationship. And then maybe in the next episode, he can ask Fallon out on a date. Let's see. Oh, wait, oh, they're so cute, stop. Oh, that was really cute. Oh, okay, so we have a little bit of a romantic relationship. Okay, cool. That's good, that's a good start. That's a good start for this episode. Oh, they're really cute. Oh, he's feel they're both feeling very flirty, you guys. <gasps> Oh my gosh, she's into it. She's very attracted to him too. You can tell. Oh, they're hugging. Oh, they're cute. Okay, all right, well, in the next episode, we will have them go on an actual date, but oh my gosh, they're so cute. And I'm glad we got to see this and I'm glad things are working with them. They have really good chemistry, so that's good. Don't know how much studying they're gonna get done in the study group, but you know, oh, that lady just like walked right through them. <laughs> right now we're gonna go see Bellatrix in Strangerville, but yeah, I mean, we have Maxwell here. We'll get to see him more in this little mini series too. And then we'll get to know all the others as well. We gotta make sure that Charles graduates and same thing with, I mean, all of them. We have to make sure all of them graduate and have a good GPA at least, but that's fine. We'll do that, but there'll be a lot of story stuff here too. Okay, so we, again, are gonna go see Bellatrix in Strangerville, but I just wanted to show you the map real quick because what I have here is a very abandoned world. Basically all of the lots are ruins or like military bases. So this is where Bellatrix is and where we are about to go. I have an abandoned library because we do need the library here. And then of course there is the power plant thing, the secret lab. 
grab. Now I haven't actually played through the Strangerville mystery story and I got a lot of requests for me to do that. So I think that's what we're gonna do. It'll be fun. I'll probably be screaming a lot and um, just being terrified of what's happening, but we'll see and we will find out more information on the world because we don't know that much yet. Bellatrix doesn't know much yet. We know that something has happened. These zombie people have taken over. We need the military here to help and help solve the mystery. But then yeah, there's just these like abandoned ruins everywhere. So we don't really know much about what this world was prior to all this. So here we have Princess Bellatrix. So I mean, everyone kind of really knows that she's a princess here. I feel like she doesn't outright tell people. I think that Bellatrix is the type to really not want any special treatment about it though. And she tries not to talk about it. And if you didn't know, she is doing a long distance relationship right now. Samaria is her girlfriend and she lives in Sulani and she's also a princess. They're doing long distance. I can't imagine that she'd be able to really talk to her that much. I imagine that they've already all gone through training and stuff. But yeah, she is here in Strangerville. This is a new place and we'll get to meet all of the others who are here as well. But this is like their military base. Now, I do want to warn you guys. Um, I don't know too much about the military. So if I ever say something incorrectly, please just go easy on me. I'm sorry. I'm happy to like, if you guys want to give me facts or something in the comments below, just be nice about it. And I'm totally fine learning more things. I don't mind at all. But yeah, just a warning. I don't know too much about it. So I will try not to say things incorrectly, but I might, it's possible. But I do think that maybe Bellatrix has gotten an assignment to start talking to people in the area about this mystery, about the... So I'm calling them zombie people. I don't know if that's what they're called. This is really supposed to be more like an abandoned place, but obviously we still have like the rest of the stuff from Strangerville here, like all these buildings. But yeah, this is like one of the abandoned buildings that I put here. Why don't we have her go start solving this mystery? So let's have her talk about Strangerville with people. Okay, so basically this guy is just saying that it's our job to protect people from whatever is in the science lab. It looks like he's also in the military. And then this guy here, we gotta talk about Strangerville to him too. So yeah, Bellatrix does doesn't really know too much information. Like a lot of people don't know that much information, but what they do know is that there is something causing this disease, I guess. And they have brought in all the troops to try to figure it out. Okay, we've talked to five people. I'm gonna have Bellatrix go to the secret lab now. Um, and then also, if you didn't know, so Charles and Bellatrix, I mean, they're twins. They're actually really close, but yeah, I'm sure we'll have Bellatrix and Charles go back home maybe sometimes in this series, or we'll see other characters from our Royal series here too, but oh my God. Okay, so we have these plants everywhere. They're very, very scary looking. Um, and then it says we need to like examine the door. Was that what it was? Okay, I'm gonna have her examine that. Also with this series, I'm not exactly sure how long it's gonna be. It is a mini series. I would like it to be around five episodes or so. Yeah, not 100% sure yet. Let's aim for like five episodes for this mini series for now. Okay, Bellatrix says the door is locked. It requires a key card. Someone around town might have the key card. Okay, we do have here Eric and Brett, so they are coming with us to do all this. So we gotta find if someone in town has this key card. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to get 15 pieces of evidence. I'm probably not going to do that in this episode. That might be something I do on my streams. So that way I can ask people what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. I don't think we wanted to get too much of the gameplay here. I mostly just wanted to show you guys and introduce some things to you guys. But yeah, we, I mean, got our introduction. I will have the evidence and the key card and all that by the next episode so we can have Bellatrix kind of solve that. I kind of think, you know what? I do think I'm gonna have her call Samaria and just call her to chat just to say hi because she misses her a lot. Samaria's in school, she's out of school now. So yeah, maybe Bellatrix has a second to try to call her and talk to her because they miss each other. They miss each other a lot. Oh, and one of the zombie people are here. Oh my gosh, so what do we do with them? Try to talk to them. Yeah, maybe she's like talking to Samaria right now and then she's sees this zombie person and she's like, okay, hang on, I gotta go. I'm so sorry, I'll call you back later. Okay, yeah, she just hung up. So now she's gonna go try to talk to the zombie person. Oh, I feel bad, I feel like, oh gosh, okay. Oh no, I hate that, I hate when they do that. Why does she look like that? No, I hate this, I hate the zombie people. Ah, okay, Bellatrix is like, what? the heck is wrong with this woman? What is going on? Okay, our eyes are open. Okay, lady, snap out of it, snap out of it. Oh, did she just hit her? Did I miss that? Did that work? Snap out of it. Oh my God, Bellatrix. Oh, wait, she snapped out of it. Oh my God, that actually worked. Seriously, you can do that? <gasps> I didn't know that. I didn't know you could just do that. Interesting. Good to know. But yeah, 
okay. I feel like Samaria, when, when Bellatrix had to hang up, she was like, oh, okay. Like, I don't know. I feel like she misses her a lot. Well, we'll see Samaria in this little mini series too. But yeah, I mean, that's, I think it for our little introduction episode. We'll get more into this story. We'll get to see Charles. He's gonna try to ask Fallon out on a date. We'll see if she says yes. We'll see how that goes. Bellatrix is gonna try to solve this mystery. And then hopefully her and Samaria are gonna get a chance to talk even more. Maybe Bellatrix might try to go home and visit her at some point too. But yeah, just look at, look at Bellatrix's new look. I love her so much. She looks great. She looks awesome. She's so motivated. She can do this. I know she can. She's gonna discover great things, I feel like. We might even discover what was here before, what this world was like before all this happened. But yeah, I'm going to end our first episode here. I know this was kind of short. This was just introductions. In the next episode, we will get more into it and get to see everything. Let me know what you guys think of Charles and Balin and Bellatrix in this new world and figuring out these things. If you want to see me solve some things like in the background, then you guys can watch my streams and my streaming information for Twitch is in the video description below as well. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.